two straight from the Nats. Rough go of it for John Patterson. Five decisions in 16 starts. Top two, Patterson facing Matt Holliday with one aboard. Patterson rings him up, one of his eight Ks. Bottom two, it's the birthday boy. Preston Wilson on first, celebrating his 31st birthday Tuesday. Ryan Church abusing the Sean Chacon offering. His 11th double of the season means Wilson's got a green light, loses his helmet, and dives in safe at home. Happy birthday, Preston. one nothing Nationals. Wilson a little winded, though. Might want to save some of that breath for the handles on the cake later. Top five, they're loaded with two outs for Corey Sullivan, and Patterson gets him. Eight scoreless, three hits. Nationals blank the Rockies four to nothing. Next stop, San Francisco. Braves and Giants there. Jason Schmidt doing what he does. Top four, two to one Braves. Ryan Langer has down swinging. Top five, Kelly Johnson down as well. Schmidt, 10 strikeouts on the night. Bottom seven, Giants down three to one. Who needs Barry? Well, the Giants do, but in the meantime, <laughs> they got Pedro Feliz. Three-run shot for him. Giants take a 4-3 lead. Top nine now. Braves down 4-3. Tyler Walker pitching for the Giants. Adam LaRoche. And wait a minute. Not time to go yet. Solo home run for LaRoche. Ties the game at four, so Walker blows the save. Bottom nine. Tied at four. Two outs, two men on. Jay Powell on the mound. Jason Ellison. Base hit. Throw to the plate. Not in time. Davy Cruz slides in under the tag. Take another look at it. Cruz just able to get there. Walker in the dugout like, come on, bail me out, bail me out, bail me out. And Cruz does it, and the Giants take it 5-4. Marlins and the Diamondbacks, Florida in danger of falling two games below 500 for the first time this season. Jack McKean, known as Trader Jack in baseball circles. A.J. Burnett, one Marlin, possibly on the move. Marlins trying to get A.J. some run support early, top one. It's Carlos Delgado. Taking Javi Vasquez deep and gone. Delgado's 19th of the season. Marlins out quickly to zip. Next batter, Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, first pitch, and it's a home run. His 19th. Marlins up 3 to nothing. Cabrera added another shot later in the game. Bottom four, Burnett is dialed in. Just ask Coy Hill. 112 pitches, 68 for strikes. Then in the sixth, Burnett strikes out Hill again. Burnett, six innings, struck out six, allowed three. Marlins double up the D-backs. Six three is your final. Starting Tuesday tied with the Orioles, a half game back of the Yankees. Sox have lost three in a row at Fenway. They hadn't lost four in a row at home since 2002. Manny Ramirez, unusually bad against left-handers this year. 2004, he was batting 348 against lefties with eight home runs after 92 games. This year, 189 with four home runs. So versus lefty Casey Fossum of Tampa Bay on Tuesday. Bottom four tied at one. He's the Manny. 25th of the year, only his fifth off. The left needs two to one Sox. Top five, Travis Lee up with the Sox up two to one. Alex Cora. Great play in time to Rob Lee of a base hit. Top eight now. Sox up 3-2. Carl Crawford on second. Mike Timlin on the mound. Pickoff at second in time. They escape the eighth. They score some insurance in the bottom half. And then top nine, here's Kurt Schilling with a 5-2 lead facing Johnny Gomes. 94 miles per hour, too fast for Gomes. After a fly out, Toby Hall up, and Schilling gets him to pop up. John Olerud says, I got this one. And the Sox get this one, 5-2. Schilling's first save since May of 92. Yankees and Rangers, New York 11-3 this month coming in. Mike Mussina gunning for win number 10. Bottom one, we're scoreless. Two on for Hank Blaylock. And Mussina gets him swinging. Next batter, Alfonso Soriano. Take a seat. Top two with one aboard, Chan Ho Park. Rings up Jorge Posada. Top four with two on. Park gets Jason Giambi looking. Scoreless through four. Bottom five. Two on, two out. Dave DeLucci to right center. And Gary Sheffield is there. Mucina, six. Scoreless, seven Ks. Top six. They're on the corners for Alex Rodriguez. Park dealing. And A-Rod hitting into the 6-4-3 DP. We stay scoreless through six. Top Eight. Number nine batter Bubba Crosby facing Park and Park walks in to lead off the inning. One of three walks for Park. Would it be costly after a Jeter bump move Crosby to second? It's Robinson Cano up the middle. Crosby scores as the throw will be late. Cano two for four batting 305 and the Yankees are up one to nothing. Bottom eight with a man on third. Blaylock 
off of Wayne Franklin, his 19th home run of the season, and the Rangers get the win at 2-1. So what about the Orioles at the Metrodome visiting the Twins? Baltimore's Daniel Cabrera, 3-0, 1.35 ERA in his last three starts. Bottom third, Orioles are giving him a 1-0 lead. One okay. out, runners on the second third. and third for Shannon Stewart. Melvin Mora comes home with a throw. Sal Fasano able to, to apply the tag to Luis Rodriguez. And let's take a look at the mismatch here. Fasano, 246. Rodriguez, a buck 80. And his foot stops short of the plate as Fasano did a good job of using that weight to block it. Bottom nine now, one out runner on first. Shannon Stewart facing B.J. Ryan. Stewart down swinging. Joe Maurer trying to steal second. Eli Whiteside's throw, not a good one. Maurer over to third. Next batter is Matthew LaCroix. Wild pitch for B.J. Ryan. Maurer scores. And the Twins say thank you very much. Game tied at three down. Two batters later, runners on second and third. It's Jock Jones. Miguel Tejada over to Rafael Palmero. He's got 3,000 hits, but he can't come up with the scoop. Michael Ryan scores. Twins win it 4-3. So now we've got to shuffle the AL East deck once again. Red Sox win while the Yanks and O's lose. So Boston moves back into first place. A half game up on New York and a full game up on the Orioles. About to come in next and pinch hit. Piazza versus Chris Hammond. So a base hit for Piazza. Willie Randolph says, hey, wait a minute. Williams can run, so let's send him out. And we'll take Chris Woodward at the plate. Williams is then pinch running for a Piazza. Woodward, going. And it's time to bounce in New York. Two-run walk-off shot for Woodward. We are just wondering if it was his first walk-off ever. Never before ever. Really? Not even in high school, in Little League, or anything. That's the first time. That's a, it's a special moment, you know. It's, uh, it's something that you... You, you, know, you know, you might play your whole career and never do. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's fun to have, have done it once. Mets certainly think so. They win it in dramatic fashion, three to one. Second game ending homer of the season for New York. Dodgers and Phillies bottom 10. Phillies down a run. Ryan Howard at the dish with a man aboard. Let's flash back to another late inning situation with Howard from July 8th against the Nationals. Pumping his fist, thinking he's got a heroic jack, but Brad Wilkerson is there. So back to Tuesday. Howard looking to end the game against Yancy Brazovan. Can you say hero? Ryan Howard, the hitter. Gets it in the air to deep center field. His only hit of the game of the difference. Phillies win 5-4. He's in bottom one. Garrett Anderson goes down swinging to end the inning. Bottom two, Harden facing Meister is tourist with Steve Finley on third. To back to Harden, who hits it off his foot to Jason Kendall covering the plate. Finley then is caught in a rundown. Kendall to Eric Chavez. Chavez throws it back to Harden. He gets Finley on the tag out. Harden kicking it to Kendall. That's effective baseball on the replay there. Bottom three, Harden facing Anderson again, gets him swinging. A's protecting that one nothing lead. Bottom eight, gets Orlando Cabrera. Harden retired 16 batters in a row. Bottom nine, still in there, gets Anderson for a third time. Harden eight and two thirds, four hit, one earned, eight Ks. A's win, three to one. Tigers and White Sox picking up top second, two on two outs. Jose Contreras picking Omar Infante. One, two. Advantage Infante. Three run shot for him. The Tigers a 3 0 lead, six of the year for Infante. Same score, bottom second, two out. Jeremy Bonderman gets Carl Everett swinging, then Aaron Rowan swinging. And just so you understand, AJ Pruszynski, you can sit down too. Five Ks for Bonderman in the ballgame. Top six, two out. Contreras facing Craig Monroe. Tigers already up six to one. Here comes Pudge. Tigers up seven to one. Five straight hits for Detroit. All seven runs in the game scored with two outs. Bottom eight, Bonderman gets Scott Prosednik. And the Tigers going to take it 7-1. Bottom in eight innings of work, just three hits. Royals and Indians. KC just four wins in Zach Granke's 19 that starts this season. Bottom five, KC Blake to right center. But Emil Brown is there. Great glove also had a hit and drove in two. Granke holding a 9.82 ERA in the sixth inning this season. Granke, quote, I don't even think it's the pitch count. I just get to the sixth. 
inning and I'll be bad. They have to take me out. So to the sixth we go. Bottom six. Granky gets Aaron Boone swinging one of his four Ks. One out after Grady Sizemore fly out. It's Ronnie Belliard flying out to Brown in right. Granky surviving the sixth. The seven scoreless Royals with their second shutout in three games. Four nothing. Cincinnati, Aramis Ramirez, 375, 14 home runs, 43 RBI in the last 44 games. Top third, Cubs down 2-0, two runners on, two outs. That makes this a clutch three-run shot for Ramirez, his 23rd. Cubs go up 3-2. Top five now, Cubs with runners in scoring position. Derek Lee, that's going to be trouble. Jerry Harrison Jr., Todd Walker scored Lee's second double of the game, three for five. Two RBI for him, Cubs up 5-2. So the bats are working. What about the pitching? That's Mark Pryor's department. Bottom five, runners on first and second, facing Junior. Got him. Pryor, six and two-thirds. Struck out eight, seven hits, three earned runs. Top nine, back to the bats. It's Ramirez again. Three for four, five RBI for him, and a pair of home runs. Cubs win at 7-3. They've won eight of nine. Ken Rosenthal now with more on Junior's immediate future. Ken Griffey Jr. is playing better than he has in years, but the chances of him getting traded are extremely slim. There are two major obstacles to a Griffey trade. One, he is earning $12.5 million per season through 2008. That's three more seasons after this one. Two, he has full no-trade protection, and there are only a handful of teams on his wish list. The Dodgers, Yankees, Braves, and Astros are all teams that Griffey would be willing to go to, but none of those teams is showing much interest in Jr. at this particular time. Brewers and the Cardinals, Albert Pujols, two home runs in four games since the All-Star break. Bottom one with one aboard. Pujols with just a little crush against Doug Davis, his 25th home run of the season, and the Cardinals have a 2-0 lead. Top eight with two outs, Brewers down a run, Julian Tavares in a relief. Jeff Jenkins, the comebacker, Mark Gruzelani barehands it, but can't get Jenkins, so he extends his hit streak to a dozen games, and Gruzelani is stunned. Two batters later with two aboard, it's Bill Hall and he is clutch. Jenkins come on home, Damian Miller avoiding the tag, and the Cardinals fall for just the 10th time in 40 games against the NL Central. Brewers 5, Cardinals 4, your final. Astros beat the Pirates in game one of their double dip. We like game two better, so here's the highlight. Mark Redmond, not much for him to like lately. ERA up over eight, 0-5 in his last five starts. And Man, it's a base. Eric Brentlett didn't take it easy on him in this one. Base is loaded, and everybody's coming home. Three-run triple for Brentlett. His only hit of the ball game. Astros up 3-1. to one. Top five. Now it's Lance Berkman bringing the pain for Redmond. One on and one gone for Berkman. Two-run shot, his seventh. Astros win at six for Redmond. Six innings of work, six more earned runs. And Haven, Michigan. Kids of all ages competing in, get this, beach pole vaulting. That's pretty extreme stuff. Stan, can you do that? No. <laughs> Number nine, mutton busting at the Snake River Stampede. This is in Idaho where we're hanging out. Brandon Mullins holding on for dear life, but Molly Mangan turned out to be the winner. Blue Jays Mariners, ball hit down the first baseline, hits the bag. Eric Hinsky diving, throwing to get Jason Frazier to get Adrian Beltre out at first. Jays win the game. Hey, don't sleep on lacrosse. Ryan Boyle of the Philadelphia Barrage with an absolutely amazing oh, play. Tremendous goal for Ryan Boyle, fighting for the check. Check it out. Boyle shoots against his body and still gets the goal. How about Braves and Giants? Left field. Base hit. Drama at number five, Dodgers and Philly. In the hole, look at the play by Rollins. There's one, there's two. Jimmy Rollins, an absolutely amazing double play. The dive, the throw in time, and they turn the twin kill. Number four, Padres Mets. Mike Cameron at the dish, deep to left center, but Dave Roberts is there. Tremendous. Worth another look. Roberts, no regard for his body whatsoever. Tremendous effort. For defense at number three, Padres and Mets, Miguel Cairo. Nice flip. 
Four, six, three. And nicely done. Fancy glove work by Cairo to start the double play. Walk off, drive home safely. Dodgers, Phillies. Ryan Howard is 0 for 4. And a fly ball to center field. And deep. And it is gone. And the Phillies win it 5 to 4. Nets walking off as well against the Padres at number one. Woodward, a high drive to left field. That's it pretty well. Plesko's going back.